4.8 debug libraries as well. Um, again, this is uh, just the package downloaded. This will actually load it into a different um, position um, on the file system that it's going into um, slash user lib and developer tools and various other places. So um, this is is more like putting in um, a whole set of different um, default libraries into the system. Um, so and again, this will ask for um, your password because it's going into your system libraries. Um, so I'm going to install that. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the system so that we can um, go through and edit and use Qt Creator from the shell because I quite like doing that, um, being old fashioned. Uh, but also um, it does help with certain environment things and certain Unix based things that we may want to do. So first thing we'll notice is that qtcreator.app is here in the shell and to run this um, basically we can double click in the finder it may even have been put on as a dock icon, icon you never know um, what I'm going to do is to type pwd and you'll see that that's users jmac qt 5.02 um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to now change into the qtcreator.app directory then I'm going to change into contents then I'm going to change into macOS X and you'll see that here's the ac actual executable um, of the um, the application there so this is the Qt Creator application there so if we type PWD this is going to give us a complete path of where that is and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a dot profile in this directory so touch dot profile then I'm going to edit that I'm going to use Vim, you can use your favourite edi editor so I'm going to insert into there export path equals dollar path colon and I'm going to add in that path so now the actual directory where Qt Creator executable is is in my path I'm then going to add an alias so I'm going to alias um, Qt Creator or lowercase which is what it is under Unix and I'm used to doing this on the Linux boxes and then I'm going to alias that to Qt backslash and escape the space and creator like that. So if I just write and save that file um, I have to source tilde slash dot profile to just reread this in it and I've done something slightly wrong ah, I know what I've done I've missed the escape for that space. This is why you should never use spaces when writing files in Unix because you have to escape them. So to be honest I'm a bit annoyed at Qt for doing that. They should know better. They've been using Unix for a long time. Um, now that's all worked. So now in theory I should be able to type Qt Creator in the shell and it will run up Qt Creator. I will put a full version of this bash shell and some text in the blog post when I finish it. And there you go, I've fired up Qt Creator, we should be able to create a new project and everything else just using that. And in a minute we'll come back and set up some extra builds and things like that.